All right, so this is the lighting that I'm doing for the idol. And what I've done here is I've drawn up uh, a schematic of the um, circuit board that I'm building. And I am actually going to use hardboard for it since I don't have any printed circuit boards. And I'm not about to start getting into etching my own. And, uh, you know, for one off like this, this seems to work all right. And so what I've done is I've um, drawn it out on a piece of paper and I've spaced it all for all the components. Um, you know, so for the 555 timer chip, which is the backbone of this circuit board, um, you know, I could mark exactly where the pins are, where the capacitors uh, pins are and uh, whatnot. So I've drilled out those holes so that they'll all fit into it. And uh, then I label it to follow the uh, diagram uh, that I created because once I start looking at all those holes on the board, I don't actually know wh what they mean. Uh, and I learned that the first time I tried this. So getting a little bit better. Um, so now I start trying to fit the components and um, I'm fitting the 555 timer and what the pins are so thin that actually I had to go back and sand the back of it to be able to get at the pins for soldering to them. Uh, so I'm working on that right now. And while I'm working on that, I just want to uh, let everybody know that um, you may not ask me any questions about electronics. <laughs> I won't answer them, and I won't even answer that comment, uh, mainly because I don't feel like I'm an expert in uh, electronics enough to be able to give anybody advice. Um, I've been sort of piecemealing my knowledge along the way. And um, if you're interested in trying to learn more about electronics, um, I recommend you just jump on YouTube and start uh, looking at um, flashing and pulsing lights and circuit boards and, and whatnot that people have posted. Um, that's how I learned, and I don't know enough about um, how some of these components work together to be able to give you uh, really good advice. Don't ask. Don't ask. Uh, so here I've put in all the capacitors and uh, because this is a, I want a very, very slow flashing. I'm actually running um, quite a lot of microfarads. I believe that's what they're called. Um, so what is that? That's uh, two, four, six, eight. So I'm running about 10,000 microfarads and those um, slow down the rate of the fading. So once it starts to change its illumination and the higher your capacitance, the slower that fade is. And after a lot of playing with it um, I decided to uh, use that amount um, and so now what I'm doing is I am putting in um, all the resistors and we're needed wires to bridge those gaps and uh, what I've decided to do uh, for this board is to try to use um, you know the existing wires from all of the components as my uh, bridging circuit you know, leads rather than um, have to connect everything with wires. And because I've spaced everything pretty closely, they all pretty much uh, meet. And here you can see the capacitor leads, right? They just just meet and that's working out just fine. Uh, um, at some point, oh, oh wait, oh wait. What else can I tell you about this while I'm soldering all of that? Um, if this is something that you're interested in, oh, I should mention, um, I will, however, put a uh, picture of my diagram um, and I'll link to it uh, in the description of the video. And so that will at least show you what this circuit looked like and what the components are. Um, and so if you wanted to duplicate it, you could just buy all the components as I have them listed and uh, away you go. I will say that my soldering skills are starting to get a little bit better. Um, I actually learned that tinning the tip, here's a tip. <laughs> I wish I wouldn't talk about electronics, but how can I not? Um, tinning your soldering iron. I never really quite understood exactly what that meant. And so I did a little bit of research, like I kind of thought I knew. And I found this great video where it's just basically wrap your whole soldering iron tip in, in solder and cook that all off and uh, it will leave a very very nice layer of solder on your soldering iron which really helps transfer the heat so you know with each of these kinds of projects that i do i'm getting a little bit better a little bit more understanding um and uh that has been um you know making something smoother as i try to get more 
complicated. Um, so what, what does this circuit really comprise for those of you who are maybe a little interested? So it, the chip is a um, NE555 timer, which um, is basically a series of uh, transistors. It's kind of interesting if you look at the schematic. And it has um, eight pins on it, and each of the pins go to uh, certain components. Um, and mapping those pins out is uh, really, you know, the foundation of it. Um, I, I will say at the end, you're going to see me have some trouble lighting this, and it's because I actually forgot in my diagram to map uh, from pin 2 to the positive of the capacitors, if I believe. And actually, I forgot um, um, a another wire somewhere along the way so you know um it it was a little bit of a, of a trick um to just get all of that uh to get the actual diagram that i drew transferred over to this the schematic transferred to this so that i could actually wire it all together properly um the other thing that i did is that i put in the transistor backwards uh so for those of you who know anything about transistors, that that doesn't work. <laughs> the uh, the um, uh, the emitter and the uh, conductor are co collector. I mean, whoops, um, need to be in the right spot. So I had them flipped. Um, so that added another challenge. So you know, even after all this hard work, I had to go back and I had to remove some components and f troubleshoot it. And uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end. But uh, it's not all smooth going. Uh, let's see. And here I'm cleaning up all the leads that were hanging and um, sort of getting everything as, as uh, snug and, and as neat as I can. Um, you see four wires going out of this. That's because um, a pair of the wires goes to the power supply and a pair of the wires goes to the LED. And um, I will mention that um, you can see here I have a um, voltage converter boost board I think that's what you call it so I can plug it in um, and then up the voltage and I'm going to be running this setup off of six volts and that's um, primarily because in the fire for the boss hut I am using um, and I'll maybe talk about this a little bit later but I'm using one flicker LED to control the flicker of a non flicker LED if that makes sense um, So because I'm running um, those two LEDs uh, together as one, I need to boost the voltage. So I'm going to include a little boost uh, converter in the actual uh, setup. But this is a slightly more expensive one, so I can easily read what the voltage output is going to be. And uh, here you see it doesn't light. Now I'm breaking out the breadboard, and I actually rebuilt the entire circuit on the breadboard to see what went wrong and then use that to troubleshoot. So uh, eventually I got it lit, and I'll show you that at some point. In the future so i hope you found some of that interesting um, if uh, you are interested in liking this video feel free to like it if you're interested in subscribing join the crazy terrain train uh, and uh, this is uh you know another version of maybe how i might shoot videos i like it I'm trying to find something that's a little faster i don't know if it really is but um I feel like it's a format that I enjoy making, so you probably will see more like it. And uh, I just want to mention, um, if you want to visit my Patreon page, I have put up two more monthly columns. One is on vines, uh, not vines, one is on ivies, and one is on water lilies. And I've tagged all of the monthly columns. There's 29 monthly columns. so. Uh, I'd be kind of surprised if you don't find something in those 29 columns that uh, won't help you out. If you do find something that's helpful, of course, you can always support my uh, continuing efforts to write them by becoming um, a member of my Patreon page. And uh, any support that you can provide is always greatly appreciated. Wait. Um... Oh. Um, 
I'm trying my best to finish the orc board straight through. I'm uh, working really hard on it, so I'm not um, checking any comments and I'm not checking any emails. Uh, I put up an autoresponder. I'm kind of keeping an eye out for a couple super important ones, but otherwise um, you won't be hearing much from me, although I will be um, putting out um, more videos over the next week or two as I try to wrap up this project. So uh, thank you for joining me. Um, Stay tuned for more projects in the uh, Orc Board uh, series here, and um, hopefully you'll come back from those, from those, for those, from those, and for those, because you know I'll be back soon with another Terranscapes video.